Right, the penultimate race from uh, Pontefract, race four from Pontefract, is a two-mile Bluff Cove handicap on the good to firm ground. There's one more race from Pontefract, one more race from me after this, before we head off to Flemington, where Martin Eden will take you through the final race of the day and the big one, the Melbourne Cup. Number one is Canterbury for John Morgan, two high rise for Craig Beckwith, three is Star Daddy, Alex Cherry, four Eagle Feathers, Martin Needham, five is Sunline, Kevin Minigan, Ice Coral Obi Wan, and Trusted Obi Wan. Those are the seven horses. John Morgan going for a double. Just won the preceding race with Canada, and away they go. Slowly away was Eagle Feathers. That unlocks the lead, so it's probably going to have to move through to pick it up now. But Ice Coral leads from Sunline on the outside. Between horses is Star Daddy, Eagle Feathers, normally a front runner, is moving past horses now to try to get to the front. Out wide is Canterbury for John Morgan. Uh, behind these, Star Daddy, trusted on the rail, pushed along the sun line, dropped places now to finish to be second from the back, and high rise the trailer for Craig Beckwith as Ice Coral leads, but Eagle Feathers moving up on that one's outside. And it's the front runner, Eagle Feathers, and now finally gets the lead after that slow start. Ice Coral back in second, three lengths back to Canterbury for John Morgan, who won the last race at Pontefract. Behind these, trusted for Obi Wan. They're followed by Sunline for Kevin Minigan on the inside of High Rise for Craig Beckwith and the back of the field Star Daddy for Alex Cherry. So it's Ask Carol and Eagle Feathers who duel for the lead from Canterbury travelling well in third for John Morgan. Just behind these is Trusted for Obi Wan. On the rail Sunline and the green colours and orange cap for Kevin Minigan. On that one's outside is High Rise for Craig Beckwith and at the back of the field Star Daddy is about eight lengths off this leader. Alex Cherry in those orange seas and orange cap. So the red colours of Eagle Feathers now takes it up. He's a confirmed front runner and it goes to the lead. He has asked Coral, lets him get on with it. Three lengths further back to Canterbury, back in third. In fourth, he's a second Obi Wan horse trusted on that one's inside sunline for Kevin Minigan. High rise being pushed along for Strider 2 for Craig Beckwith and at the back of the field, Star Daddy who likes to come with a late run for Alex Cherry. So just over a mile to go in this two mile event and it's Eagle Feathers Elites from Ice Coral in second. In third, about three lengths back is Canterbury. A further two lengths back to High Rise on the outside of Trusted. Then comes Sunline for Kevin Minigan and we pushed along and Strider 2 at the back is Star Daily for Alex Cherry. But it's Eagle Feathers that still leads comfortably here yeah, for Martin Eden. The red colours and yellow cap. In second, travelling while he's Ice Coral for Obi Wan. Three lengths back to Canterbury in third. They're followed by High Rise in fourth. Then comes Star Deli is in trying to improve on the outside of Trusted and Sunline now at the back of the field. About six furlongs left to travel. Eagle Feathers now been joined again by a strong travelling Ice Coral up his inside. Canterbury goes particularly well in third. Then comes Trusted, who's on the inside of High Rise, is going well. Star Daddy trying to improve for Alex Cherry and Swanline switches out for his run. Eagle Feathers comes back to the front from Ice Coral. Doesn't seem to have any answer to this, but Canterbury is going really well in third for John Morgan. It's Eagle Feathers from Canterbury and Ice Coral. Star Daddy creeping closer for Alex Cherry. Then comes High Rise. No move from that one yet. Pushed along now. Both sides line and trusted. It's Eagle Feathers in front, but here comes Canterbury for John Morgan. Running on strongly now Star Daddy for Alex Cherry. It's Eagle Feathers, but here comes Star Daddy who's come from the back of the field. Eagle Feathers, Star Daddy, Canterbury has as um not picked up at all now, and a Star Daddy on the outside of Eagle Feathers. Star Daddy comes to the front for Alex Cherry with two phones left to travel. It's Star Daddy from in second. Eagle Feathers then sideline has come from the back of the field. Canterbury's gone up and down. High rise is moving past that one. It's Star Daddy and Eagle Feathers back in second. Then comes uh, in third. Sideline high rise on the outside, but Alex Cherry Star Daddy's running away with this one. And Star Daddy with a phone to go is traveling strongly in front. They are closing, but they're not going to get to Star Daddy. And Alex Cherry wins with Star. Daddy. Sunline and Canterbury are going to fight out second place, but no doubt about the winner. Alex Cherry, Star Daddy, came from last, wins comfortably. Sunline will get second, High Rise will be third, and Canterbury did not pick up at all for John Morgan. Finishes back in fourth. So, so coming from the back of the field, well, all three came from the back of the field. The pace must have been really fast. Star Daddy came from last, Sunline was near the back, and so was High Rise. Canterbury travelled strongly the whole way, but didn't pick up at all for John Morgan. Finishes back in fourth, and in fifth was trusted for Obi Wan. So a winner for Alex Cherry with Star Daddy wins well. Wins about two and three quarter lengths.